player base for those games has kind of dropped drastically since I last uploaded. So I don't know if it would be kind of very fulfilling to go back and try to learn those games some more, progress those games, and they make some content for it. So we'll see what happens. I did buy a lot of games that I wanted to record for before I stopped that I never got to. So I can probably dig out of that archive and make some content. But as you can kind of see on the screen here, that's just been going for my monologue. There's Balladry. And this game came out somewhat recently and it has been a smash hit. I hear lots of people talking about it. I see lots of people playing it. I myself never played the game. I bought it a couple weeks ago, maybe even a couple months ago at this point, and just, I never got around to playing it. I had a close friend tell me over and over, you gotta play this game, you gotta play this game, you gotta play this game, and I just kept putting it off. I think it's a good game to make the return. So I'm gonna try it out. First video back and we'll see what happens. Now it might not be very good because I have no idea what I'm doing. I actually don't play poker at all. I play a ton of card games, not poker. I've been told that that doesn't really matter because the game does a good job of kind of walking you through the poker terminology that it uses. So we'll see. I might look like a blumbering idiot out here, but we'll get there. So I'm gonna click the play button now. Okay. Jimbo the Joker. He's here to help me learn how to play. Honestly, people like Jimbo don't get enough credit in life. Your goal is to earn chips to defeat the enemy blind. Okay, so am I, does he mean blind as in I can't see what they do or am I fighting blindness itself as my opponent? This here is a small blind. You only need to score 300 chips to be, okay, so blindness itself is my opponent. I'm fighting a small entity of blindness. Select the small blind search. All right, I mean, if all it takes to cure blindness is to play a game of Balotro, I hope I can do this for the people out there. Earn chips by playing poker hands, okay? That's the part where I don't know anything about. Each poker hand earns a base amount of chips multiplied by some mult. Okay, from the very small amount of gameplay that I've watched, this mult box seems very important to me. See your poker hand in the run info area along with other info. Okay, cool. So this actually does just straight up tell me all of the poker hands. I need to take a second maybe to look over these. Okay, straight flush, five cards in a row, same suit, same rank. Okay, that makes sense. Four of a kind, four with the same rank, but can be a different suit, and then the other card can be irrelevant. Full house, three of a kind, and a pair. Okay. Flush is just anyone with the same suit. Straight is five cards in a row, can be different suits. Just the, I guess these are the ranks of how hard it works. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm getting distracted here. Three cards with the same rank. They may be played with two other unscored cards. Okay. Two pair. Two cards or two pairs of cards with different ranks may be played with one other unscored card. Okay. Interesting. Pairs, just two of the same with three other. And high card. If the played hand is not any of the above hands, only the highest card is scored. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna forget all of these and have to refer to this page a lot <laughs> for the first couple runs of this, so we'll see what happens, but ideally we want straight flushes, but I see a lot of high cards in our future. Cards also earn you some chips. Hover over to Z. Now select up to five cards to play and press play hand. Okay. Well, we got a king, a queen, a joker, and a nine, does that put us up for, okay, I'm losing it here, we're losing it. Um, so these are both spades, these are diamonds, hearts. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to keep coming back to this. Three cards with the same rank, okay. Um, well I have a pair right here, just kind of chilling. Maybe I just put this up 
and just play all these guys, and we'll see what happens. That's just a pair. Okay. Put me up, coach. Okay, 56 points. Okay, not bad. You can also discard up to five. Okay, so we can get rid of the junk that we have. Okay, try it. Um, I've got two jokers. That seems pretty cool. I guess they're jacks. I'm going to accidentally call them jokers a lot. I think jokers are like the core roguelike mechanic in this game, so I definitely should not do that. Okay, we got jacks here. Two jacks. This guy is clubs. This guy is spades. This guy is also spades. I've got a lot of spades. Maybe I'm gonna just discard these two and see what happens. Careful, you only have a limited number of hands and discards per round. Okay, so that's gonna be the limiting factor here of how we actually win. We're only allowed to discard this many times to draw this many hands. Turn 300 chips for your. Okay. It's all beginning to make sense now. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we can just flush. Because we've got all these spades cards here. We're in. I'm committing. Four malt. That's pretty sick. Okay, all of these chips bonuses are nice, I think. That gets us yeah, where we need to be. Nice. Okay. I've completed the tutorial. I'm probably the best battle trip player on the planet right now. I don't mean to flex. Slight work for a man like me. I earned five dollars for that. Man, if I knew that all it took to beat blindness was to play some poker cards and then I got paid five bucks for it, I would have been Mr. Beast a long time ago. Now that you're flush with cash, you can buy some cards from the shop. Try buying this handsome devil, bro. Jimbo calling himself a handsome devil. Give it to me. This is one of the uh, 150 jokers you can add to your run. Every joker does something different. Okay, cool. So this guy just gives us some extra molt, which is very helpful. This one adds plus for molt. Okay, yep. Be picky. You can only carry for Okay, five at a time is a limitation. Interesting. Now buy the other card from the shop. Enhance two selected cards to molt cards. Okay, is this a joker as well? Oh, okay. He's answering all my questions as I ask. This tarot card is a consumable. This one will enhance your playing cards. Hold on to it. Okay, so I'm guessing I can just play this at some point and increase the molt of some cards I'm holding in my hand. I wonder if that's random or targeted. Okay, it says selected, so I'm going to assume that's targeted. Okay, I got five jokers and two consumables. That makes sense. If you save up enough, you can buy a voucher. Vouchers passively upgrade your run. Okay, that is huge. Plus one hand per round. Vouchers are restocked after you defeat the boss blind. And check out both of the booster packs in every shop. They're full of goodies. Okay, choose one of two jokers. Interesting. Okay. A the choker pack is a buffoon pack. I'm not going to get over that buffoon. Okay, I think probably buying this voucher as early as possible might be the best way to go about this. I think I'm going to try to do that if I can continue playing. Select the big blind, earn some cash, or choose to skip it and get attacked. Each tag has a unique effect. But keep an eye on the Bloss Blind. It has an ability you will need to plan around. If you beat it, then the ante goes up and all blinds become Beat anti eight to win. Choose your path. Okay. Um. Gives one dollar per unused discard this run. I mean, I think I just want to play to start. I'm not sure how good of a tag this is. Per unused discard. Okay. Well. Oh. That's not a passive. That just does something immediately. So this is gonna give me three dollars. Okay, well, I need more money than that for sure. So I'm definitely gonna fight this guy. All right, let's see what we got. When you get more cards, remember you can rearrange them. Joker's trigger in order from left to right. Okay, that is interesting. I only have one right now. So make sure that you use your consumables. Honestly, use your consumables. Best piece of advice given in any game with consumables. So 
actually be too crazy and ain't crazy to use it. So it's actually gonna force me to use it right now. What can I do here? Um, I wish I could look at the hands right now. Cause I've got five, four, three, two. Oh, if I can, if I make the hand, it will show me up on the side. I think playing this might just be the way here. Get the seven. And get this. First, let me use the Empress. It's gonna be a screen, but let me do that. So I'm gonna use the Empress on these two jacks here. Boom. Okay. I'm jacked. I think the pair here might be the best we can do. Let's get the four of a kind, straight flush. Five in a row. Okay, I can't do that. Three of a kind and a pair. Hmm. Can't do a three of a kind. Okay, wait. Hold on. We do have the discard mechanic here. Let's toss this seven and one of these threes out. Let's see what we get. Okay. Well. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now we're game. It sucks that we don't have these cards with the molt in here to use, but maybe we can play that later and get a bigger payout. Okay, cool. Nice for scoring over 200 points with this. Oh, I thought that plus four was... Okay. His base plus four applies after. I just had four molt on that. Okay. That goes so hard. Oh, that's because... Okay, I got it. The flush has a molt of four by itself. That's where that four was from. His four got added on after the fact. Okay, that was surprisingly massive. We basically already won. Alright, king, queen, jack. Hmm. It would be nice if we could get a ten or a nine. I think we just want to pitch these. Get out of here. Okay, um... Maybe we just try this pair here and just play all this. We've got a lot of molt on this, even though this is kind of a weak base. Playing these together is going to get a lot of points. And it'll definitely win us this game. We make the big boy scores here. 420, baby. ECPs. Alright. So that gives me $4, I presume. Two remaining hands, cash out six. Perfect. That's just enough to buy the voucher before you fight the boss. And it'll restock too. Currently in one hand per round. Give it to me. Grabba. I am the Grabba. The Arcana Pack. Choose one of up to three tarot cards to be used immediately. Okay, interesting. Jumbo Arcana Pack. Okay, so that's cool. Convert up to three selected cards. So hard, it's interesting. Level up two pair plus one. Okay, so you can actually level up your stuff. Because right now, all my things are level one. Uranus would level up my pair. Okay, cool. Honestly, I think I'm fine with the purchase that I made there. Okay, discards two random cards per hand play. Random cards per hand played. So we've got four, five, six. We also have King, Queen, Jack, and a nine. I think we discard two of these fours to start. Oh man. Hmm. I've got to keep referring to this guy here. I have cards that share the same. Can I make that happen? I've got a lot of hearts. Unfortunately, I cannot make that happen. Can I discard again? Okay, I can discard again. So we can really fish. Okay, if that's the case. Let's just keep fishing here. Okay, now we got some stuff to rock with. I think we'll just go a pair. 
this jack has a multiple multiplier. We need to score at least 600 though, so we are gonna need something good here. This will give me six malt, and this guy will give me 10 malt. That's all the chips here. Okay, I feel confident about this play. It'll at least get us a good score to start. Halfway there after one hand, not bad. Okay, we have a lot of diamonds. Maybe we just try to go very aggressively. For some diamonds here. So we'll grab you and you throw you out. Okay, that gave us, I think, what we needed. We also have two, three, four, five, and six for straight. A lot of chips here. 5, 9, 14, 20 chips. Should be 50 chips outright times 8. That would be enough to win a game. Perfect. So I think aggressively discarding earlier might be the play. I'm sure there are probably discard and non discard strategies based on the items that you get. Also, Redeemer is going to be nice because that's going to earn us, or sorry, Grabber is going to earn us extra money for each hand we don't play. So that's one extra every game if we don't go all out, which is pretty nice. Okay, what is this about to do? Okay, permanently gaining one discard is also nice. Hmm. Without scoring a face card. This does not want us to play base cards. Okay. We can sell cards. Interesting. Maybe I just buy a pack right now and see what that's about because I want to learn how this works. Okay. Open standard pack. Okay, interesting. So these are just normal cards with some extra bonuses. Wow. Gold spade, that could be huge. Just holding this and not playing it gives us a lot of money. This is a massive card though, if I can get him to play with an ace. I think this makes winning easier and this makes shopping easier. I think long term this might be better, depending on what I get in my future shops. And it'll also help me experience more of the game to start with, so I think I'm gonna I'm going to save my money. I'm not going to buy that next pack. Okay, score at least 800. Upgrade flush by three levels. And flush is when you have all the same suit. I'm just going to keep playing. I'm going to keep playing. I want to get, my, I want to get in, the, in the groove here. Okay. Okay, well, we got three, four, five, six, and seven. Straight right out the bat. That is huge. Go ahead and play you. I also just noticed the sort hand button at the bottom. That is actually a very nice feature. Okay, cool. We're already halfway there after one hand, not bad. Okay. Do we have any we do have a pair here. Hmm, we can do I mean, honestly, we've got a 10 and a 9 and an ace. That gives a lot of chips, even if this is kind of a weaker play. I think with a 6 molt coming from the base, this guy, and all of these chips, we could probably get a lot of points. I mean, definitely we'll pull this one off. Just based on this in our first play here. Okay. I did not take into account that the only thing that actually gives you chips are the cards involved in the play. That actually makes sense. And I did not pick up on that until now, despite that being somewhat obvious. Alright, with that being said, let us discard some cards. Here to you guys. Okay. Man, if we could get a jack, that would be huge. I think I want to discard the rest of this hand for the jack. Please. Man. I think we can just keep going for the jack. 
We've got King, Queen, Jack in the 10 and 9. Okay, well. It's not presenting itself to us, unfortunately. We've got one more dish card. We'll give it a go. Alright, well. We did get 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Not exactly what we were looking for, but that works. That's what will be it for us here. Perfect. I wonder if you get extra points for like winning beyond a certain threshold, because I'm only 380 points over here, but so far I've just been seeing the gold for remaining hands. Nine smacks is nice. Plus 12 mole on straights. Okay, that's huge. Plus 5 hand size reduces by 1 every round. I don't think I like that. I think realistically, we'll probably earn at least $5 next round to be able to buy this voucher. So I think I'm going to buy a pack. Is there any difference between these? I'm going to pick the pack. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is just a foil. This gives a dumb amount of chips. Retrigger this card one time. Earn three dollars when played and scored. One in four chance to destroy card. Okay, so this guy just gives a lot of mole and gives money, but has a chance to break itself because it's also glass. So I'm guessing that's where that comes. I think I'm just gonna take this nine of spades. This guy gives so many chips. Score at least 1200 gives a free Mega Arcana pack. I will say this game has really good tooltips so far. I mean, some things I have not seen a tooltip for, but the tooltip game is on point. Okay, we got King Queen Jack. I think we can try to discard. The bottom half of his hand and see if we can get something better here. Mm. We almost have enough for hearts. Come on, give it to me. Perfect. Eh, 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 eh. Nice flushed start. Can't complain about that. Get us over halfway there to begin right off the bat. Ooh. Okay. We can play that guy. This is over. Alright. What we really want is 8 and 7. Because we get 8 and 7, we can play this out. Also, spades would be nice. I'm gonna discard the bottom half of this hand again and see if we can get something here. Okay. King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a huge hand. Let's go. Plus four mole and all the chips coming from this guy. My biggest hand yet. Okay, so there's interest. That's an extra way to make some money. I make a spectral pack. Spectral cards, okay. This trigger gains plus three molts when any booster pack is skipped. That's actually huge. Plus two chips for each remaining card in deck. Man, I'm discarding a lot. So I don't know if I want that guy. But when a booster pack is skipped, I mean, I skip a lot of boosters. I'm gonna buy you. See, I'm not gonna buy anything here. And I'll definitely get the voucher next round. Oh wait, no, I'm up against the boss. Wait. Okay, all diamond cards are debuffed. Okay, that's fine. Did I just misunderstand what this did? Because this currently is giving me zero extra mole. 
but I did not buy those booster packs. Hmm. We can pitch the diamonds here. Is there a thing for playing two pairs? Two pair, yeah. Okay, maybe we just do a two pair here to start with. Uh, uh. I should say this. We're gonna discard the diamond cards anyway. So let's just discard those to start and see if we can maybe do something better than that. Okay. We're gonna wanna discard the game here. Yeah. We'll just take this. Full house, baby. It was an accidental stumble upon a full house. This is still gonna be a decent start though. I used a lot of discards to get that. Not even halfway? Okay, we still have plenty of hands though. Okay. An eight would go legendarily hard here. I guess we need a jack too. Okay, maybe we throw away one of these queens. King, Queen, Jack, 10, and 9 again for this straight. I think we just play this. I mean, this is going to be huge. The same hand we played last time because we've also got the Molt Joker. The Molt Jack, I'm sorry. Along with the Big 9. Yeah, that's a win. Okay, 3 out of 8 ante. We're getting there. We're also going to collect a little bit of interest, which is nice. Nine cash out, huge. Okay, so the voucher changed on me. Tarot cards appear 2x more frequently. I don't like that, per se. A first hand of round is a single destroy and create a spectral card. I really wonder what it means to skip booster pack. I think I'm going to sell this. Ah, no, I really want to learn what it does. Which means I want to give up on these. But I also kind of want these planet cards. Maybe I should just pop a reroll. The Jokers, okay. Plus two chips for each remaining card in deck. Plus three chips for each remaining discard. This guy takes up two joker slots because he's a negative. I think I just want 30 chips for each remaining discard. Because I am discarding a lot, but we'll see. Maybe not buying this version the first time I saw it was a mistake, but you live and you learn. Okay, so I skipped those boosters, and this is still giving me zero mold. I think I'm just going to sell that because I actually don't understand what it does. Okay, we can go two pairs here. What was that? Okay, cool. You can look at your deck statistics. That's actually pretty sick. Um, yeah, just throw the seven there. We should get a lot of extra chips here because we have a lot of unused discards. We can do that again. I think that'll just put this to bed pretty quick. Kings and queens. A lot of points. Lose chips. Bada bing. Bada boom. So I am going to sell this joker because I don't understand what it does. Oh! Wait. I just, I just figured it out. Or potentially, I figured it out. One or two chance to get a turret card. Any booster is all. Hmm. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna buy Venus because I like to level my things up here. So let's just try this Arcana pack because it's cheaper. 
Ah, there we go. So I can choose to skip the packs I don't like. Boom. So we're not taking anything. Okay. I figured it out. We solved it. Okay. Can I use you? Now that should be permanently leveled up. Awesome. Okay. Now this is a planet card. I will buy you now and actually use you instead of skipping you. I like to level my stuff up. Straight flush. We're doing straight flushes a lot. Sorry. Oh, there's a straight flush. It's a flush and a straight. Shit. Sorry. It is straight that we've been playing a lot. I want to level up straight. Oh, Saturn, baby. Okay, we at least have this guy putting out some malt now that we figured out what he did, so that's huge. Gives a free Mega Standard Pack. Uh, keep playing. I'm sure eventually I'll learn to skip a con of him, but for now, we're going all in, baby. Okay, another two pair. I think we can play this one. We have King Queen 10. See, I'm I'm learning certain ones and I'm just sticking to those. <laughs> but maybe we can go for three of a kind. I don't know though, because this banner, if I just don't use these discards anymore, gives a lot of points. So I think we can play somewhat suboptimal hands and still end up cashing out huge because of this guy. Yeah, that's massive. Okay. Hmm. If only we had a nine. I'm gonna try to discard here. Fish for something. We still end up with that. I mean, we have a lot of clubs. Maybe we just discard everything and see what happens. Play all clubs. Okay, cool. We got a flush out of that. We'll play that. The ace giving 11 chips is nice. We did lose a lot of discards there, though, unfortunately. But I think we still walk away winning this very happily. So. Seven bucks cash out. Let's go. It's his one selected card into a stone card. I don't know what that means. Plus 50 chips, no rank or suit. Interesting. Level up two pair. Okay, that could be huge to level up the two pair. Um, okay, yeah, we're, we're, we'll level up the two pair. Buy and use. We've been hitting that two pair up for sure. And then we're going to buy this and probably skip it. Here he enhances one card into a steel card, which gives 1.5 malt while stays in hand. Doubles money. Okay, wow. This is huge. Just our doubling your money. Um, you know what? I've got the red card. We're gonna skip. Hit me up in the next one. I'm broke right now anyway. No, no thought for the future whatsoever. Hard cards are debuffed, and we start with a lot of hard cards. Okay. Um, we can hit a fat two pair off rip, though. Yeah, this is just massive here. We'll throw away six hard right This is going to give 11 each, and these will give 10 each, and this is also my malt jack. Yeah, this is actually a really strong start, because we just leveled up the two pair. Oh my god. Man, almost one shot this boss. Nice. Okay. Um, we can... Do another two pair. I think we'll just pitch all our hearts and see what can go on here. Wow. 
Queen of eight, nine, ten. But we need a queen. Okay, we'll try, we'll try to fish for one. Or six. Sorry, a jack was what we needed. I forget jacks. Frank lower than queens. Oh yeah, this is huge. This is just smack in the face right here. This might be my best hand yet. Oh my god. Over 4k. Over 5k actually. Okay. We have hit anti-4. Nice little eight bucks. This is Fletcher plus one hand size. All right, that is actually worth getting like crazy. Retriggers all played cards in final hand. Okay, we don't want to get to the final hand. I'm just gonna go to the next round. I really want to pick up this plus one hand size voucher. That's huge. He rerolls the boss blind. I don't think I care about rerolling that boss blind. Okay. I mean, I think we can just start with this straight right out the bat. All the unused discards will give us a lot of chips, plus six more. That's a good start. Okay, um, but I think a two pair just finishes this off. All our discards, so the banner is going to give us a ton of chips. I wish I had a little more banter to give, but I'm so focused on trying to learn this game and just talk through what I'm doing. It's also a little early in the morning for me, so my energy level is kind of low, but we're getting there. We're ramping up. The banter will come back. Let me get plus one hand size, please. Paintbrush redeemed. I feel like it's a little ironic that a paintbrush gives you extra hand size. I feel like it would take space in your hand to hold the paintbrush. Okay, a hermit is nice, but so is a buffoon pack right now. So you still got choker slots available. Maybe we'll buy the buffoon pack because if it gives us a good joker, then we get a good joker. If it doesn't give us a good joker, our joker gets buffed. Think about it. It's a win-win. Okay. This joker gains plus three chips per discarded club card. The suit changes every round. Does it keep that? Plus 10 mo on a flush. Honestly, I think this could be really good if it's permanent. Because I do discard a lot. But I think maybe because of the banner, I want to lean off the discarding a bit. And I think getting plus three malt just off rip is also kind of good, maybe. So we're going to go to the next round. Okay, here we go. We rose the boss. Okay, yeah, I still don't care about rerolling the boss. Oh, we finally got our code guard. So we don't want to play this. Um, what can we do here? I think we maybe want to try and pull something with hearts here so we can throw away some of our non-heart cards. I think I'm going to discard. Wait, actually, let me take a second. We could do a pair. We could do a two pair if we give up our gold card. I don't really want to do that. I really do want to keep that in my hand. Okay, we're, we're going to try this. We're just going to discard these two and we'll see what we get. Okay. That did give us another heart card. Did I just discard a heart card? Get out. I'm such a fool! <laughs> We have a 10 and 9. We also have 2, 3, 4. Okay, hold on. Alright, we're giving up the heart motif. We're going for something different here. Okay. 
Wow, we're hurting ourselves actively. I'm a threat to my own safety right now. Maybe we just have to play a high card. Um, we can go for... Could it be that we can do this? Put you down, pick you up. Hold on, sorry, I have to refresh my memory in here. Two cards that show the same rank as a pair. Full house is a three of a kind and a pair. Okay, hold on. So three of a kind. Can we do a three of a kind? Okay, here's a pair. And here's a three of a kind. I'm misunderstanding three of a kind. Three of a kind is the same card. Okay, I think we just play this fair. We've got to play something. Might not be the most optimal. It's pretty low scoring even, but the extra molt we got will save us. I just know it. Okay. So now we're back to where we were. This six is really trying to get played, man. I only got one discard left, so... Okay, we can pull out a nice two pair here. Throw away one of these fives. This might be the end of our run. Okay, nice. We've still got a lot of hands to play though, so maybe not. Maybe I'm just being a little hyperbolic here. Got six, seven, eight, nine, ten for straight. Okay, this is huge because we've got the big chip spade here. Big chip energy on this fucking spade. We've got a lot of malt coming down the pipe here. Okay, whew. I'm starting to think we did not have that one. It should be pretty free now. And we held onto this gold card the whole time, so we're gonna get some extra money. Um, hey, Bear. We're, we'll just play this pair. Get out of here. You don't even need to go all out, bro. You beat me with a small percentage of my power. I gotta say, this run is taking a little longer than I expected. There is definitely some length to this game if you keep going. Okay. This Joker gains molt every time a playing card is added to your deck. Gains $2 per discard. If no discards, you just okay. That is cursed for me right now. Um, that's kind of anti synergistic. Let's reroll these. Also, molt for each empty Joker slot. Okay, so it does include itself, but also... Ah, uh, see... We're definitely entering an area where we don't want to discard if we take this. It's times two mall. I'll buy it. Screw it. We're abandoning all discard mentality right now. We're locked in, no discards. Um, that whole locked in no discards thing, how serious are we taking that? <laughs> Scorch no chips, unfortunate, okay. I mean, we can get rid of this too. We really have to play extra cards on things like this. So we can't discard. That was actually a surprisingly massive opening hand there. If only we had gotten a seven there. We can do that same kind of stroke again though, just a two pair. I'm pretty good about this run so far. I mean, I did not expect to get to four anti on my very first run. We're hitting five anti right now. 
pretty convincing, though, so that's pretty nice. I'm sure there is definitely a difficulty increase here at some point in terms of doing this over and over again. So. This voucher does nothing, question mark. I hate that because I know it does something. Okay, a buffoon pack. We've been here before. We either get a good joker or our existing joker gets stronger. Plus one molt per hand played, minus one molt per discard. Earns one dollar at the end of round pattern games by two. Okay, this is just a money maker. This guy does play nicely with our discard synergy though, or our anti-discard synergy. I should take him. I see him becoming good. We can sell one of these later. Later on. He might sell him. If we end up discarding a lot. 11,000 on the small blind. I get a free spectral pack. Um, I'll just keep playing. I've got to beat these different combinations into my head if I ever want to learn. Two pair. I mean, honestly, though, we just keep going to the two pair. Only combination I need, actually. Plus one. Only plus one more, man. This being a times two more is so crazy. This actually should go last. These are all plus one. That's a time. Um, wow, Joker, Jack, this is over for you, big man. I should say small man, because you're just a small blind. Our mo can get massive here you now. Oh, yeah. Biggest hand yet achieved. Money acquired. Some remaining hands, perfect. Let me cash out. That voucher does nothing. Ooh, a devil card. Enhances one selected card into a gold card. Okay, we might can take that for sure. Um, Leveling up the two pair though, honestly. I think I have to. As a two pair enjoyer, I must. Okay, we'll keep our money and get some interest building up here. Gives five per skip line. I haven't skipped anything. I can get more from that by playing. And we just leveled up the two pair, bro. We just leveled up. Come on now. The level three two pair with some aces involved is huge. Give me all the molt, baby. He just keeps getting stronger. Okay. Can we do. Hmm. Maybe I just want to be playing some filler hands if I know I'm going to win to get this guy to be buffed quick because like I think I've got this one kind of in the bag here. Maybe we'll just play Play these cards here. No. Play the two and the king, and just get a high card, just to play a hand. Because I lose gold for that, but I gain molt later on. And also with this Joker card here, the banner. If I don't discard anything, I think anything I play will have some supreme value. We can get another two pair here. The two pair buff goes so hard. That's a lot of points for just constant spamming two pairs. Let's go. This guy is getting large. Cash out, maybe. Okay, what do you do? Oh, you're holographic. Play cards with odd rank. You have plus 31 shapes. Plus 10 mole. Okay. Plus 10 mole. 
just for being holographic with extra upside is actually huge. Um, yeah, I think that just makes you infinitely better than the base Joker because that's plus six additional mull with upside. It's a pretty big buff. And then I think we'll just keep our money. Keep accruing some amount of interest. We're up against the fish. Cards drawn face down after each hand. Oh, so I don't know what I draw. Okay. Wow. Hmm. I have two aces in my hand immediately. Because of this Joker right here, Odd Todd, I think this could be, could be huge. Let's see if there's anything else I can do. We got a pair. Three of a kind in a pair. I don't have a three of a kind to make. We have a two, four, five, six. There's something to be made there. I think we just play this. This is going to actually get a large amount of points for being a very simple hand. Yeah, that brings us halfway there. I have no clue what you do, unfortunately. So it's like I need to discard to fucking... Okay. We got weaker because of that, but we got a straight to play with two odds in it. Actually, we could put you down and play straight with an extra odds. We'll have three odds. The, the loss on this guy is permanent, though, unfortunately. This guy, we could at least build him back up. But he's done a lot of work for us so far, so I can't complain too much. Here we go. The new biggest hand reached. Extra interest never hurt nobody. A new voucher now minus one anti, minus one handy. I don't know why I would want to buy that because then I have to keep. I guess maybe the thought process is if you buy this, you get an extra full round of buffs, maybe, and that's good. Uncommon jokers each give. Played face cards the plus five minus I don't think I care about either of those actually. Let's just buy a cheap pack and ignore it so our red card can keep being better. Unless there's something really good in here. Just like two cards. Convert the left card into the right. Enhance is two for what though? Okay, yeah. No. Just give you to make this joke better. We'll go to the next round. We've got 13 bucks. That's a big amount of interest. Free spectral pack. Honestly, I think it might be worth skipping. This guy. I think we just skip it. Keep buffing the red card. And now this guy's going to give us an extra voucher in the shop. I don't think it does anything skipping him right before the boss because it's just going to get pretty fresh. Actually, no, because I won't see a shot till after I beat the boss. Okay, yeah, why should you skip you? It might be two good skips or two really bad skips. We'll see. No repeat hand types this round. Okay, that means if I play a two pair, it's over for me. <laughs> As I cannot do another two pair. Okay, well, that kind of sucks, but we'll, we'll make it happen. Okay, we've got some clubs. We can start with a pair. I think you just play these two. We can't use a pair anymore. Both of these being odd, though, at least is nice. The plus 15 mole as well that I got. I'm trying to buff that guy up. 
Okay, we could do. I should say we cannot do another pair. I think we may just need to do a high card with this ten here. Actually, sorry, we should do it with nine. Because we want to save these aces for a two pair. Each hand is valuable until we discard something, even if it's weak. If. As long as we can keep scoring 10k. Damn, I wish I would not have given up that 9. That is tough. Okay, we cannot play a pair. Hand will not score. High card and pair will not score anymore. These are clubs, though. Three of the same, two of a kind. Can I do that? Play right here. Okay. It's this one. Okay. It, they need to be three of a kind in the pair. Okay. Yeah, we've got to discard that, unfortunately. I think we want to take these and discard. Wow, we have our two pair though, and I think this should see us to victory. The aces are so good with this odd joker here. Perfect. I was worried about that. Okay. We're gonna get big money for the boss. We've got two hands left, it's gonna give us some cash, and we got interest, which is huge. Cash out. So we can buy two vouchers, which we have to. Reroll boss blind one time per anything. Ten dollars for roll. Okay. Playing cards can be purchased from the shop. Plus one hand size, but does nothing else. Um I think we just Maybe buy a pack and do nothing with it. Plus 50 ships, no ranker suit. Okay, let's keep you. Just keep buffing the red card, I think. A foil ace. As much as I like that, I think I just keep farming this red card. Go next. Okay, this just gives me a lot of cash. Okay, we skip that. Gives a free Mega Buffoon pack. Okay, I went from not skipping anything to skipping a lot of things. Okay, what do you do? Plus two chips for each remaining card in deck. Plus fifty chips for each foil. Plus fifteen mold. Plus six chips. Plus four mole every six hands played. Each played ten or four gives plus ten chips and plus four mole six gold. Okay, so you give plus thirty chips for each main discard, which is 120. You give me I think I skipped this. This might not be the right play, but I think I just skipped this. And this red card just keeps getting fat. First hand drawn is played. You know what? I'll honor code it. I'll just play five cards. You know what? That maybe wasn't as worse as it could have been. As worse as it could have been. As bad as it could have been. You know, that actually was just fantastic. A flush. With the 10 mold jack. Or 4 mold jack. Wake up, honey, new biggest hand just dropped. Okay. I think I just want to play the cards I can't see anymore and hope something good happens. Okay. We still have two hands left. We do need to score a lot of points off these two hands. I think we can do that. 
24k off two hands. I haven't even played my two pair yet. Actually, it's full house. With three fives, that's going to be buffed a lot because of our odd joker. Plus 31 every time. Let's go, baby. Perfect. And we got the anti upper chief. We're going to get a lot of interest here. The maximum possible interest. Cash out, baby. This card looks amazing. Create a tarot card if he is played $4 or less. That's pretty cool. We do. Rerolls cost two less. I think I'll buy that. No reason not to. Reroll surplus redeem. Okay, um I think we'll buy both packs. We'll probably say no to both of them. Doubles money, actually, we will say yes to you. And we use you immediately, because that's just free money. And then we'll buy the jumbo pack here. Okay, convert your three switch cards into cubs, and enhance two select cards from a card to create the last hero of money from this run. Okay, so this would give me the hermit, which just gives me a lot of extra money. If I do this, this means I need to go to all the shops. So I cannot skip anything here. That gave us a lot of cash. We can reroll here. Plus 80 chips. Dude, a two pair enjoyer. I've seen that guy a lot. Plus 20 mole if played hand can hit three cards. Plus one free roll per shop. I don't think I see those being valuable. Adds the number of times poker hand. What? His poker hand. Um, I'm gonna ignore that and buy this. <laughs> I think our current Joker lineup is just good. We're just gonna leave the shop and go to the next round. We need plus three hand size next round. Okay, you know what? Now we want to go to every shop. Bro. Being able to start with a two pair, especially when they're all odd, I mean, come on. That's what we were built to do. Chips is massive. Okay. Plus 24 molt now coming from that guy, bro. The card is red. Let's just do it again. Should win us the round immediately. I think this one will be significantly weaker if there's no odd cards in it, but I think it's still gonna be enough just because of the banner here. Easy peasy, bro. We took him to the cleaners. Three hands left and a ton of interest gained. Cash out. Alright, let's see what we got here. Go up to 20. I don't need that because I have a lot of money right now. Just buy the packs and skip them, unless there's something really good in them. Yep, I just skip you. What do you want to give me? Leveling up the basic pair could be huge, because you can almost always play a pair. I think I will use you. I say you can almost always play a pair, that's not exactly true, but... Three dollars of sell value in the round. Gains me chips. Straight. Sell this card to create a free double tag. No, thank you. Okay, we'll just head on to the next round. We want to keep finding the packs. I think we can do this, which is something that I break. No, I always forget, you want the three of a kind on that one. It's the full house, three of a kind, okay. You want the three of a kind in a pair. I mean, we could just play a base pair here, though. 
We can't just level that up. Not an odd pair, unfortunately, but it is what it is. The plus 27 molt coming out of that guy is huge. We love him. He's doing work for us every day. <laughs> we could just play another pair here. This one has odd cards in it, so it's going to be significantly larger. Alright, what do we got here? I hate to say it, but it looks like we just keep playing the pairs. I really just want to discard a little bit, but I think just keeping the banner and max power and playing these pairs that are easy. It's gonna definitely screw up our hand size. But honestly, I guess if we keep playing hands, our other joker gets buffed. So maybe we don't care about that. Okay. Can we play an ace here? Dang. Da, da, da. Oh, that does count as a straight. Yeah, I don't think we care about saving hands as much anymore. We're on eight anti anyway. This is the last amount of, um, this is the lowest money has ever mattered. And every hand gives our joker here, our green joker, extra value. So maybe we just want to start playing more junk hands actually before we go for the kill, so to speak. I buy packs I don't look at. Get out of here. Okay, um, three of hearts actually is a nice odd card. We'll take it. Just because we're cool. Here we go here. Right, we're going. I don't think I have one random joker who's disabled every hand. That sucks. Which one are you going to disable? Oh, man. We do have a two pair to start things off, though. No odds in the two pair, unfortunately, but... We're definitely gonna feel the reduction in that times two mult there. Okay, still not the worst hand ever to be played. Do this full house here. Or flush, I mean, sorry. We've got two odds in here, which is nice. We are missing the big bonus from our discard. Give me that molt, baby. Okay, we are struggling a little bit here. Rip the green joker, he's gone. Okay, we can get a two pair here. Get some nice cards. We're gonna miss a big part of our mall, but we're at least gonna have the times two. This might be the end of the run here, boys. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, we need to score 45k with two hands. And our times two keeps getting disabled. Okay, wait. This actually might be the way here. Full house, all odds, with aces. This is going to be a massive flat chip rate, but our molt's going to be a little on the lower side because we are missing our times too here. And the banner triggers. Okay, okay. And if only we had a seven right now. Which actually, do we have enough? Hmm. Consult the run info guide again, please. Um, full house through the kind of pay for cards. Yeah, 
Unfortunately, we don't. Maybe I do need to discard something here. That Joker won't get worse because there is nothing to discard. Um, this is effect that gets weaker for discard is disabled. This is a tough choice here. This is the last hand and I've got to get it done here. So maybe I just want to discard these sixes, unfortunately. Hmm. Does this do it? Does this two pair do it for us here? I'm not sure it does. We do have ramen available this time. Which makes me have a little more faith. But we also could try this flush. 35 times 4. Versus 60 times 4. Okay, this is way better for us to play this. Especially because this has two odds in it. I mean, I think we just play it. And if it's enough, it's enough. And if it's not enough. Then we have to coax Seethen Maul, unfortunately. Is it enough? Wow! We lost by 223. That sucks. It was just a tutorial seed, though. And I think for a first run, even if it is a tutorial seed, getting all the way to the final boss is pretty impressive. So, I'll take that. I can't be too mad. Blue deck unlocked. Discover at least 20 out of tree bush. Plus one hand every... I don't know. Do we get to customize our decks? Okay. Uh, Joker, Terra, Plane, and Special Cards. Okay, cool. Another Joker unlocked. Doubles all listed probabilities. That's cool. Another Joker unlocked. Three mole if poker hand contains a diamond card, club card, hard card. Alright guys, well that was my very first run of Balatro. That was pretty fun. I think we actually did somewhat well. I imagine there's probably thousands of mistakes that I made, but honestly I can't be too upset. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. And I'll see you guys next upload whenever that may be. Have